Hi there, it's Lori Pinto from Lollipop Paper and LollipopPaperInink.com. I'm back today with our sixth project in the Holiday Hoopla 12 Weeks of Christmas series. And this one will be by far the easiest and the quickest one to put together. Um, Stampin' Up! does all the work for you with these adorable pillow boxes. I have made them um, <laughs> by myself. Uh, and it's kind of a pain in the neck. These are just perfect. It's already made. You can decorate it as you see fit. So we're going to do this one. This is my project for today. And truth be told, these snowflakes, these foil snowflakes are, discontin are retired, discontinued. So they are no longer available, but I did have so many of them and I wanted to just use them up. So Forgive me, you could use any kind of um, foil, doily, or any kind of doily or um, a snowflake uh, die cut or anything like that would be just as beautiful. So let me just show you how quickly I put this together. I had the uh, doily, I put a little bit of this very um, cool um, tool ribbon, polka dot tool ribbon that is, was part, is part of the holiday catalog. And honestly, I, you know, I didn't see what the big deal was about this, um, of course, until I actually got one for myself. And, um, and now I just use it on a whole bunch of projects. I don't know, just not a tool girl, but this one really um, sold me once I saw it. So that's just how I started by putting the, um, putting the, uh, just a little bit of adhesive just to get these to look like the side of a bow. And I'm gonna put that right underneath the, the uh, snowflake. And I'll just lift up one. It's so sheer that it's gonna go through to the other ones, so I'm not gonna worry about that. And I can put one on the back. Right there. Okay. And I always, when I do decorate these pillow boxes, you know, you can see where the edge goes, but it's so much easier to just do it while it's, um, while it's nice and flat before you actually open it up. So I wanted to make sure that this was sort of just right in the middle there like that. And so I'm just gonna put another glue dot on there. And these are still available, these um, gold faceted gems and it comes in gold or silver. Those are adorable too. And I'm just gonna put that there and lay this right on top. Kind of make sure it's centered, pointing up the right way. And I'm gonna put one of, now I'm gonna put one of the larger ones, which the, at first I thought it was too large, but once you put it on there, it's really not, it's not too large at all. So for the sentiment tag, I took this, um, Oh, I forgot which uh, stamp set this was from. Um, Celebrate You, maybe. Um, it was last year's set, but it was carried over. Um, so I I did um, heat emboss that with the gold uh, Stampin' Emboss Powder, and that took all of like five minutes. And make sure I have this on the right way. And I'm just gonna add this to the side there. And that's it. That is it. So you can put it together so quick. And these are great for gift cards or for um, little little gifts, little stocking stuffers, um, place setting markers, which would be so nice to have one of these at your place settings for your holiday party, your holiday dinner. Okay, I think I would put this on the other side. There we go. Look how quick and easy that was. And that's it. Gorgeous. So like I said, you can use any one that you, um, any kind of uh, snowflake or any kind of uh, die cut, um, that would look beautiful on here. And the gold just makes the craft pop in the back. Okay, so thanks for joining me for our sixth project. And come back next week for project number seven. We have a few more weeks to go and um, if you're not getting this, if you're just seeing this on YouTube and you're not getting it in an email form with the PDF and the pictures, 
um, you can just join my e my uh, email list below and the link is right below on the um, below the video and um, subscribe and then you'll get th these projects every week for the next several weeks and also um, my weekly uh, email that goes out and that has all of the Stampin' Up! offers and information and free PDFs and sometimes I give away stuff too. So um, if you have any comments or questions about this project or any other project, please just leave your comments below. I love to hear from you. Thanks again. See you next time.